Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Reagan. So today I'm going to be doing a February end of the month wrap up. It was a short month so I don't, okay this will be kind of long because these are always just a little bit longer but it's not going to be as long as usual just because I know it sounds crazy but those three extra days do make a difference in the month where I just haven't tried as much stuff. Um, so yeah, let's just roll in, start chatting. I'm gonna start out with my empties, then I'm going to do favorites. I actually don't have any flops. I can, I wasn't just gonna like throw something in as a random flop, like I didn't have any. So yeah, let's just start. Okay, so first off empties, I have used quite a few sheet masks. So I've used Inna Organics, and this is their facial mask. Then I've used the Orgade, this is their organic sheet mask in vitamin C. And then I've also used the Acure, this is their radically rejuvenating sheet mask. And this has argan oil and hyaluronic acid. So these were all fine, like I like them enough. But I have been taking tons of baths, so I do like mask and bath, it's just my thing. Um, just been getting really into the self care as we've entered our second year of uh, being in lockdown kind of situation. Okay, and then, <laughs> so oral care, just to get this stuff out of the way. Um, did use up the Jason's Power Smile. We like this, Don and I both use this. This is their peppermint mouthwash. It's a good one. We got that at Pharmaca. And then also used up a David's toothpaste. Love this. You guys know this is a favorite. I almost have an empty of toothpaste a month, I feel, just because we both use it twice a day. So yeah. Okay, my first static nails empty. So it's from Dee's Nails. This is the last set I used from them. I can get away with using getting about two sets out of one of these. I love static nails. They're just glue on nails. Super easy to use. I think they look really nice too. Like this is my B set where some of the sizes are a little bit wonky, but they're fine. Like I have like them. I think the quality is pretty nice as well. I did use up this Meissler water. This is from YN Naturals. I really like this. It was nice. It has one of these like pumpy things. It's a nice big bottle. It's not uber expensive. So one I would recommend for sure. I just used it as a makeup remover, by the way. Like, I kept it on my makeup table and I used it to get rid of swatches and stuff in between filming. It's really effective. Okay, and then I did use up another one of these. It's just the Target brand of hand soap. This one is lavender and bergamot. It's fine. Like, it's a hand soap. I just threw this in here because what the hey, let's talk about it. And then I did... Speaking of oral care, I forgot I had this. So I did use up a Dr. Bronner's Their Cinnamon All One Toothpaste. I don't like this. The cinnamon flavor isn't strong enough for me, actually. Right now, we're actually using a tube of their Spearmint, and their Spearmint's pretty strong, and I like it. But this one, I just don't like. I did use up my Skylar... Skylar. I always say Skylar, and I don't know why. But this is their Golden Glow candle. I really like this. So I didn't trim the wick one time towards the end, so that's why it got this black around it. If I wouldn't have been lazy, it wouldn't have that, but it's fine at all, <laughs> you know. But it burned nicely, it burned evenly, and it smelled really nice. I like their candles, I think they're good ones. And then this broke, it's one of my hair ties, one of these kinds, the expensive ones. Unfortunate, but it broke, so emptying it out. And... Okay, I have a makeup sponge that like I found in a makeup bag that I was going through, just all my stuff, and it started to mold, so I'm not gonna show you because that's just nasty, but I'm getting rid of that. And I did a little video about the Hint Beauty Concealers. I'm getting rid of all of these little samples I got. Oftentimes people like DM me and ask me for stuff like this. Here's the deal, I'm not gonna give this to anyone because my fingers were in it. I don't feel comfortable with that. I don't think anyone should feel comfortable with that. Um, um, yeah, that's just how I feel. But I have a whole swatch video if you're curious about the concealer. So check that out if you just want to know about it. And there's not enough as well of these. It's not like I was given like full pots. Like, no, I was given like little samples. So there's like tiny little bits left. Okay, and then I have two body oils that I use. So this one's the oil. This is their body serum in orange rose. I like this. It's a nice one. It's very much 
orange smelling. So I don't smell the rose as much with this or I didn't smell the rose as much. It was nice. It was absorbent. I love a body oil. And this I use as a body oil. This is the Audacite, their watermelon and hibiscus serum. It was a nice body oil. This is actually supposed to be for the face, but it's really large and it's an oil serum. So I just didn't use it like that. We got this in like a detox box or something and I just had to use it like that and it works well. So yeah, I probably wouldn't repurchase it though for that reason because I think it's pretty pricey. Like there's just cheaper body oils out there. This I'm really sad to see go. I would repurchase this. This is the Indie Lee Eye Recover Body Soap. Um, this was really nice. So it wasn't, okay, it was very interestingly layered. So it was a layer of bath crystals, a layer of like oil, like a creamy oil, and then another layer of bath crystals. So you'd scoop it out. It smelled so good. It smelled like eucalyptus and spa. You'd scoop it out and just put like a scoop. It had a scooper it came with into your bath. And it was just a really nice fragrant experience. I love that. Use it all up. Great product. And then I use this, this Coco Kind. This is their organic chlorophyll mask. I actually use this as a bath soak. Sometimes when I get powdered mask, I think I'm going to like use the whole thing and then I don't end up using it. So that's how I use this. And it was nice that way. Um, kind of like a seaweed, um, maybe it's not seaweed, it's like a chlorophyll soak. It was, you know, good for that. And that's a way I'd recommend using up powder mask. If you have them, just throw them in your bathtub, like works nice. And then these I really liked. They're the Himalayan salt crystals from, I think this was like the shop geo. Yeah. I got these at Whole Foods. These were really nice. There were these really big chunks of Himalayan salt and I put them in the bath and I got a couple baths out of them. And yeah, they were just really nice and they were pretty and kind of different. So something kind of cool. And then this, I actually, I guess if I had a flop, it would be this. So I tried one of their baths last month. This is the Verdant Academy, uh, Verdant Alchemy, excuse me, bath in lavender, mandarin, and vetiver. I actually ended up repurchasing a lot of these baths. I did not get this one because I hated the scent. So I did get like five of their other baths from Integrity Botanicals. And this one didn't make the cut. I just really didn't like the scent. I don't know. Well, it just wasn't appealing to me. So yeah, uh, wouldn't recommend. And then I did use up a Green Beauty For You lemongrass balm. It was nice. This one was, you know, it was just a kind of typical bath balm. It smelled like lemongrass, really nice and refreshing. Okay, so if you watch my last month's end of the month wrap up, I did talk about these and I hated them as shower bombs. They're the Rinse Lavender Shower Balm because I don't smell the fragrance. So I actually ended up using these as bath bombs. They worked well that way. I wouldn't repurchase them just because they didn't work well for their intended use, but I made do with like what I had kind of thing. And then lastly, I used up another one of these. I love this deodorant. It's the PH Fresh Honestly Fresh Cardamom Prebiotic Deodorant Spray. I know that's a mouthful. This is one of the few deodorants that's like a liquid without baking soda that works for me. So yeah, I really have liked this and I would highly recommend it. I think it's better than the Co- a thousand times better than the Cosa Sport. It actually is effective. And it's different packaging, but it's similar consistency where it's like more of a jelly aloe feeling type thing. This is similar in that regard. So really like this. Okay. And then I have quite a few favorites. So I just want to say I used quite a bit of Glossier products this month just to try them out. And I was pretty impressed with them. I'm going to do a whole video about Glossier just like a roundup because I have all this stuff, but I did like their stuff. Like I liked the skin tint I used. I liked the concealer. Their brow product was nice. Mascara was decent. It wasn't actually the mascara wasn't my favorite, but it was fine. Uh, the cheek cloud paint stuff was really nice. So yeah, that will be coming at some point. One thing I actually don't like, we got this little bag and this is their whole shtick. I hate these bags. I just, I don't, I think they're cheap looking and I just don't like them. So yeah, and mine broke. So that's another reason I don't like it. I think I just don't like that. Okay, and then for make other makeup. I did really like this Auric Shadow and Ego. So this is Samantha Ravindal's brand. So I like this and it's the only one that's left because I get that everyone bought the other two shades because they're more like 
bronze and neutral. This shade is really different and beautiful but wearable. So it has kind of like a creamy green silver um, base and it's really metallic, really pigmented. And then over the top, it has like this topper that's like a green silvery shimmer shade. It's just really pretty. It, creates, it makes for a great one shadow eye look. Super simple. Highly would recommend these. So I did get their other shades and I like them. I just didn't feel like they were as special. Like this one I feel is really, really special and different. And that's what I'm looking to add to my collection nowadays is like things that are different. And this was. So I'm going to give one of them to my mom. I FaceTimed her to see if she wanted it. And she thinks it looks like it'll be too dark for her. I don't think so. I think she'll actually like it. Like it looks too pigmented. Like she doesn't wear tons around her eyes. But I actually think she'll like it because they're really easy to use. So I'll let you know whenever she gets it if she likes it or not. And then I did like the same mascara. It's probably my favorite thing from the line. As with the Glossy, I'm going to have a whole like... There's one of the boys. So as with the Glossier, I'm going to do a whole roundup on Say Beauty, but this was one of my favorites because it's one of the few just lengthening mascaras in Clean Beauty, and I think this definitely has a place. It has a silicone wand. It really is lengthening and defining. That's what they say it is, and that's what it does. So I think they had a good product with this. And then I can't remember if I included Merit last month or not, but I did like their highlight. That's my favorite thing from the line. I'll have a whole video about their stuff as well. So I purchased some things to just do an initial review, but then they're sending me some things, but because of the weather in Texas, everything got really messed up. So my review of the line will be up way later, but that's fine. Um, I've talked about the things I do and don't like from them. This was one that I did like. The highlight I think is really pretty. Okay, and then this month, skincare wise, I have a few products and I have quite a few tools I wanna talk about. Um, yeah, so let's, I guess, start with skincare and then I'll get into tools. So we got this quite a while back in a box swallow box and then the latest box swallow box included some more from this brand, Nini Organic. So we got their Rain Hydrating Skin Essence. I've clearly been using this and then I've used this as well. Their Crimson Beauty Face Serum. And then we got a little mini and I've used like half of this of the Halo Cleansing Elixir. So I love this line. It's really different. It's really brightly colored. The formulations are really unique. I like this foaming cleanser that we got a while back and I've talked about this. I think it's just a really unique formulation. It works very well to remove makeup and cleanse the skin with this oil cleanser. I've used them at the same time. And then I really have liked this Rain Essence. It has a great spritzer to it. Very hydrating. I think the colors are cool too, how they do everything. And then I have like this Crimson Beauty Face Serum as well. It's a really lightweight serum. It's almost watery. It's almost more like an essence. So yeah, I like this line. I just thought it was kind of cool and different and I haven't heard many people talk about them. So I wanted to give them a shout out because I think they have cool stuff. And then the Maya Chia the great cleanse. I've been using this. I do like this one. It smells like lavender and one of the things I really like about it is it rinses clean. So I like the May Lindstrom Pendulum Potion because I love the scent of it. My biggest problem with it is you immediately need to put another gel cleanser on top of it to get it to break down. This breaks your makeup down. You can rinse it off clean and then do your next cleanse. And in some ways you don't even need to do the second cleanse. I always do but you don't your makeup really gets removed with this and the oil gets removed too with water. So great formulation. I love this product. Okay. And then this brand, I actually, I've joined Clubhouse and I like it and I don't. Like, I like the small rooms and this will relate to this brand in a second. But in a lot of ways, I'm not someone who like is fighting people for attention. And that's definitely an app. You need to be super extroverted and like outgoing and I can force myself to be, but that's not like in my nature. Like I'm someone who's more of a build it and they will come kind of person. If you want to engage with me, great. If you don't, fine. But like there you really have to be super like opinionated and have things to say. And I don't always. <laughs> but anyway, I found this brand and I really like their vibe on there. And I've had this product for a while. And even before I got on Clubhouse, I was like, okay, I'm going to use this in my monthly skincare. 
and we got this in a box swallow box. So this is the Flower and Spice Soothe and Repair Daily Moisturizer. I believe this is a European brand. What I've realized about Boxwalla is they bring a lot of clean beauty like EU brands to the table. So this is a beautiful moisturizer. It's really lightweight and thin. It's rose and coriander with prickly pear and aloe vera. Super hydrating, lightweight, absorbent. It's just been a really nice moisturizer. I've actually discovered my two favorite moisturizers in the box swallow box. So I really like the votary one and I like this one too because I love how like aloe and lightweight they are but still like a very aggressive moisturizer and does its job. So yeah I found the founder of this through a I mean I had this before but I found the founder through a clubhouse and she was one of the panelists and it was kind of cool to hear their story and stuff. So it's a really small line and they're an apothecary. Okay, and then I also watched an Instagram live with Aaliyah Beauty and Josh Rosebrook, and they were talking all about Josh's new active infusion retinoid and vitamin C facial oil. So what Josh had to say about this, because I've been kind of interested, I'm using right now this on one side of my face, and then the Juice Beauty, the new retinol, retinol, retinoid product that they have. And there's been such this pushback in clean beauty against retinols and retinoids and stuff. And apparently retinol palmate is what's typically used. And there's this new ester of retinol that's a lot safer. And when it's bound with oil, it's a lot gentler. So yeah, that was just kind of an interesting informative thing. I have liked this. Um, I'm still going to be comparing it over this next month side by side because I want to give two months for retinols to really like do their thing but I have liked that and I think it's like a different formulation and I'm glad I sat down and kind of got that information because I also have tried other oil-based retinols and I thought they were just kind of it was weird to me I just didn't know why they were done that way but now it makes sense because it makes it more gentle gentle I was gonna say gentler but gentle so I just thought you know that was kind of cool um that they're able to use retinol and make it gentler because I think it's really effective. I think it's a lot more effective than that Bacchul ingredient that everyone like praises. I like Bacchul, I think it's nice. I notice like hydration and plumping from it, but I'm not noticing the same turnover that I get from retinols. So yeah, I have liked that. The Juice Beauty one I like, but I don't love the scent. So I'll talk about it later in another video. It wasn't a flop, it's just I don't love the scent. So it's not a fave. Okay, and then this is a mask. I have loved, this is the One Love Organics, their Love and Charcoal Mask. Such a good product. So what I like about this is a lot of charcoal masks are super dehydrating. Like they dry out your face because charcoal, that's what it does. It like draws out impurities. And the oil in your face is seen by the charcoal, let's just break this down really simply, as an impurity because it's oil, but it's not. Anyway, this is super hydrating. It actually has an aloe base to it. It doesn't dry down completely. It actually feels more like a putty when it is dry. I like the smell. It smells like vanilla bean, and it's just a really cool mask. My skin's always like glowy and hydrated afterwards, and that's really rare with a detox mask, so... Yeah, I think it's a cool formulation. And then I have like this, it's the My Shell. This is their Protect Sun Shield Stick SPF 50 non-tinted. I'm guessing there's a tinted one since they specified this is non-tinted. So I have liked this because it's really easy to use. A lot of times in the morning when we take the dogs out for the walk, I can be really lazy in applying sunscreen. I'm just gonna tell you guys straight up, like. I want to wait to apply sunscreen until I do my entire skincare routine and I need to apply something. So this is super quick and easy. It does have a bit of a white cask if you don't blend it out. I always blend it out though, but I've liked it. I think it's a good product and I would repurchase it and I would recommend it for like easy usage just when you don't want to use SPF because it's super easy to use. Okay, and then this... I really love this. I've heard so many people. I've heard Ted from Buffalo Beauty Boy talk about this brand. I've heard BB love on it um, on the Instagrams and I think on YouTube as well. But this brand has some great bath salts if you're looking for super affordable just target 
kind of clean product. So I've liked this one. Everyone has liked different scents that I've seen, but this has been my favorite. It's their Melatonin Sleep Soak. I use this all the time. I don't just use it at night. It says it promotes a better night's sleep. It smells amazing. Smells super lavendery. Your skin is super soft after using the and soaking in this and you smell really good. So I would highly recommend this. Um, everyone I know loves having a Dr. Peels in their bath. So like, a, you know, a Dr. Peels thing in their bathroom. Sorry, that was kind of weird. Okay, and then lastly, I have a bunch of different tools and tool related products to talk about. So I found a life changing body treatment that I'm obsessed with. And that is the Yina. This is I actually have been going to a lot of like, zoom meetings and stuff and I'm not participating in them I just watch but I did a zoom with Yina um, and it was benefit for the violence that's been happening in the Asian communities like all the proceeds went to that so I went to it and this was amazing like this whole thing we got this in beauty heroes oh my god I never really did body gua sha I have done facial gua sha and I love it but I'd never done body gua sha. And I know that it's just really popular in China and all over Asia or like, you know, like other parts of like Chinese speaking countries and states and stuff. And I have loved this stuff. Like the body treatments smell so good. So they're all based in like traditional Chinese medicine, which I love. And this smells amazing. It just smells super warm and like earthy and like forest bathing kind of thing. And then this thing has really helped me like relieve tension all over my body. So we got this little guide and they also taught us in that Zoom meeting how to use it. But this little guide like shows you how to use this. And it just has really helped like my neck tension. It's amazing. So I'll take a bath and I do this like once or twice a week. I've done it like three or four times since we've gotten it. And it really is like awakening. I feel like it really balances out my body and it just feels nice. The whole experience is great. It de-stresses me a lot and it just helps me take care of my body more. Okay, and then I have another gua sha treatment I've been doing with Maya Chia and that's for my scalp. This, okay, doing scalp gua sha is so important, I realized, because it releases, oh my God, so much tension and the scalp and it just feels amazing. So this is what their gua sha stone looks like. By the way, this is what the Eno one looks like. It's just different. It's a little bit bigger because it's for the body more. But this one kind of looks like a comb. It is not a comb. It's separated like this so you can jiggle and it like helps your scalp relieve tension and it's supposed to help promote growth and stimulation for your hair and help with hair loss. For me, it's just like attention relief and I love it. So if you ever find one of these gua sha stones like this, it just feels amazing. And then their hair treatment, I have been using this along my hairline and then like within my hair itself. And this is their powerful advanced multi-correctional scalp and uh, hair treatment. And this is supposed to help promote growth. And apparently they've done a lot of research with um, dermatologists and various doctors and stuff to make this like really effective and work. I've only been using this for like a week now, so I can't say much on the effectiveness of it. I will say this, it doesn't smell bad, which a lot of like hair growth promoting products do. Super easy to use. I just spray it in my scalp and then I do this stone like this afterwards and like wiggle it back and forth. And yeah, it just, it's a nice product. It smells good, which I know I keep bringing that up, but a lot of times, again, like hair growth products smell like crap. I was gonna say the S word, but not going to. But this whole system is just really nice. I really have loved on the gua sha this month for both of these. Okay, and then I have really liked these two. So, all right, I did a whole video about microcurrent and the massage I do. I've also been using the little masks too with my Myolift. I love this. It's a favorite. It's, I feel like it's taken like, I'm not that old. I'm not like a spring chicken, but I'm not that old. I feel like my lines are so much less than they were my fine lines. This thing's amazing. 
you have to use it to make it work, you know, to see effects, but I feel like it's one of the few things that I've used. I have used, I think it's the, like, what is it? New Face. Yeah. They are, uh, microcurrent. I think that the Myolift one is better because you can really get in there a lot more because you have these gloves, you have these masks. There's just more features with it that I think are important. So yeah, check out that video. I'll have it linked somewhere up here down below just to check it out. I've loved my Myolift though. I do have a discount code with them. You get like 5% off. I know it's not, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it is a pricier machine. And I think it's worth it. Like, I've never been a super machine-oriented person, but this one just works. Like, I've tried a lot of different stuff. And this along with gua sha is like my zen space. And then, okay, these little fucks, I've enjoyed these when I do really hot baths. So these are the little fox. They're beauty spheres, and you can use these hot or cold. So I keep these in the freezer. And I use these with a sheet mask. So I'm very bougie. What I do is I use a sheet mask. And sometimes if it's a water-based sheet mask, I'll use these Myolift attachments on top of the sheet mask because it actually helps the mask penetrate deeper and water actually really does help microcurrent like penetrate deeper. And then after that, I'll take those off. I'll use these globes over a sheet mask and it just feels amazing especially when you're sitting in a super hot bath like it feels really nice and refreshing so I think these would be great for the summer it really does help the under eyes to depuff in the morning just really cool and different product I know that I had like some things that I normally don't talk about this month because I've been getting so much more into like true self-care and like taking care of my body and like treating myself better because I just realized in this last year if I'm not gonna do it no one else is like you know spas haven't been open you can't get a massage you can't do anything to like give yourself self-care so I've been doing it all at home and this last month I've really gotten into it and just enjoyed it I've always done skincare and makeup but the body care stuff is really good really nice I feel very zinned out and relaxed Alrighty guys, so let me know your thoughts below if you've tried any of this stuff, if you got any of the boxes. I'm just curious and thank you all so much for stopping by the channel. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.